my name's Louisa from Get Creative in Brighton and this is Ali. <laughs> and we're here to show you the third item from the box. We have also still got Nelly. Smelly Nelly. Still there making friends with the polar bear. She's snuggling up with him now as well, I think. Mm -hmm. Right, Emily. So, can you get out of your box? We need, I think you've already pulled them out, have you? We need the little glass pot. Now, please. <laughs> Please be so careful not to drop this, is what I was going to say. Because if you've got a hard floor, there is a possibility that your pot could smash. All right? Hopefully it won't smash. It shouldn't do, because it's nice and thick, but there's always a possibility. So please have your growing up at hand and make sure you've got something soft underneath. Luckily, we've got a soft carpet and we've got a soft sofa. All is fine. And did you only drop the top bit? That's fine. Maybe. Right. So, with this... I'm going to see whether or not you've got your glass pot and some, don't mess around with the glass pot though, okay? <laughs> Have you got some tissue? You've got some tissue paper in there. A couple of you might have some of these. Now, these sweet wrappers, we enjoyed these, didn't we? Yeah. There's a lovely tubs of... Kind of went qu down quickly. They went down very quickly. Quality streets, roses, chocolates, all of those. They have some really nice wrappers there like this. These are the ideal things to use on your pots. But I didn't pack these into all the packs because I know that some people have allergies, don't they? Oh. Some people have allergies such as milk allergies and nut allergies and things. So, <laughs> yeah, possibly. So I didn't put those in, the, in your pots. I've just given you tissue paper. But if you've been lucky enough to get a box of chocolates and you've been eating these, save the wrappers. No, no, so, no. With your strips of tissue paper, or with your wrappers, you are going to put glue, glue all on the outside here. There's a glue. There's another glue there. Lovely. You might want to cut them to be a smaller size if you want to. You could use big ones, small ones. I'm just going to okay. do this like that. Okay. And just, then fold I, it down onto the bottom. You can fold it down onto the bottom. But my advice is just to do a bit at a time because you don't want to get sticky fingers as you're doing it. So I've kind of done those two sections. And I'll fold it underneath in a minute. Cut them in half. Yeah, massive. absolutely. You can cut them in half. You could leave them as they are. Oh, completely up to you. So, I'm going to do mine. You could do yours over the rim as well if you want to do over the rim. Are you going for over the rim? Yeah, you're doing yours up to the rim. Or you could do them just under the rim, like that. In fact, mine. Look at mine. Mine goes all the way under to the other side. I, I can actually put, stick I put that mine down. Like that. I think I might stick mine down like that. I didn't realise I could do that. Right, I'm going to stick glue all the way over yeah do it however you want Emily I'm just experimenting it's always great to experiment do th things that you, in a different way to how you think you were going to in the first place yeah. so it's quite a nice thing to do when you're doing art to have okay. make new discoveries right so mine does fit all the way over like that and then I'm going to trim that edge now you could make this with mine does it? Yeah, we'll do it however you want, Emily. You can do yours a different way. Um, you can make this like uh, really, really, really neat. You can make it a bit more of a messy effect. Oh, I've just realised mine has just broken a little bit there. Whoops. The, the, it's a slight hole, but it's fine because we can cover that over in a minute. So get the different colours then, and you can make different coloured stripes going round. So I'm going to go for an orange now. So I'm just borrowing your glue because I... Oh, mine's on my lap. I was going to say I've lost it, but it's actually on my lap. Right, and I'm going to go for the here you can overlap the colors as well because oh, we all know that oh. in art if you mix two colors together they do make a new color and again that's a lovely well, some people, discovery uh, some uh, make brown yeah that is a, in fact you know what mine will probably make a little bit of a brownie color because i've got orange and blue and i've got blue and white Okay, what does orange and blue normally make? Do you know? What about what about orange and tell you what? What about yellow and blue? Do you know what that makes? Green. Green. Okay. Oh, yeah. Or what about red and blue? Because orange is obviously a mixture of yellow and red, isn't it? What about uh, red and blue? Do you know what that makes? One of my favourite colours. Purple. 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 I don't know what your okay. favourite colour is. So this, I think. I reckon this is going to make a slight purpley colour. It does, look. Can you see? Slight purpley colour when I overlap them. And I've got a nice slight purpley colour underneath. So keep going all the way around the outside with that. And you'll have some stripes like this one here. Stripey, stripey. Yes, stripes 
Obviously you can do it whatever way you want, but there's stripes that way. Or if you've used the sweet wrappers, look at that. Look how beautiful. That looks like stained glass window. The sort of windows that you can get in churches. Very, very beautiful. And I, with this one, I've done it right up and over the top. With this one, I've left a little rim around the outside. Because with this one, with the rim, I reckon I could use... <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Any of those little bits, maybe the wool from that we've got left over in our bag, and you could wrap it round the outside. And actually, that looks really pretty and tight in a bow as well. So make extra little pretty bit there. I want to show you something else then, once you've got those. I'm going to let Emily continue what, with what she's doing. Outside here, you can decorate with either... Now, Emily, did you get any stickers in yours? Yeah, here's some, sti yeah, here's some stickers. There'll be some stickers. I'm, they might be a Father Christmas, snowmen. I've got candles here, actually. And you can use these ones just to stick around the outside, if you wanted to, into each of the panels to make it look particularly pretty. If you don't want to use your stickers on this, you can use your stickers on the card a bit later. But I probably use a few stickers here and then save some for my card as well, I think. Another thing you can do here, you know that bag of lovely glittery stuff, the, the confetti. You could pour some of that into a bowl, because remember we have to try and keep it as tidy as we can because this glittery stuff gets everywhere and the grown-ups go oh no run again it's all over my carpet it's in my hair it's in my shoe it's in my face. face there you go and then you could put a little bit of glue onto the panels you can put it onto as many as you like there this there you go and you can roll it into the glitter that's always the best way to do is instead of pouring the glitter onto your pot Get the pot and put the glue on the pot and roll it into the glitter. Oh, oh mine picked up sequins as well. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. How pretty is that? Now, how are you doing, Emily? You're nearly there. I'm going to let her just finish that one off because then I'm going to ask her as well if she could find. Oh, oh, you've got sticky fingers. At least they're not hairy. I normally get hairy fingers, don't you, with the, with the cotton wool? Yeah. So, once you've got this, Perhaps you could, oh, where's mine? I should have, oh, have you got your candle, Emily? Inside, oh, yeah. oh I, my candle's fallen. I think it's because we were trying to just deal with the doggy as well, not just do it. Yes, it's really Oh, oh, hey, yeah. it, was, it was hiding. <laughs> right, I found the candle, and then Emily, so I don't worry about the noises, we've just got, uh, her brothers are in the house as well, and daddy is in the house, isn't he? It's a bit tricky recording at the weekend. Right, so with this candle here, there's a bit at the bottom you've got to pull out. A little bit of white card at the bottom. Card. Yeah, plasticky. Plasticky card. And then you're going to switch it on. Ta da! This is your candle that you're going to pop in the middle of your box like that. And when the lights are out, it will look beautiful. It will pick up all the colours. I say it looks especially nice inside the stained, stained glass one, the sweetie wrapper one. But it also will look very lovely inside the tissue paper one. If I pop it like that, if I put it to the side, you can probably see. I know it's difficult to see. Can you see it coming through? If you, if you just knock it to the side to show, then it will show the colours. Oh, yeah. Yeah? It will show the colours coming through. And yeah. if you've got your... If you wanted to... to um, do you want to put any glitter on it or not? Oh, I know what you can do with the glitter. Okay. Go on then. You, you talk to Sash. It's just, just going to do a little effect. You could take some. Just yeah. Put um, put some glue inside it. Inside it? Oh, okay. And then just sprinkle some glitter. Sprinkle some glitter inside it. Okay. To make it look extra pretty. So, think about where you want to put your glitter. Whether it's inside. Let's give it a shake around if it's inside. Rather than using your fingers because it will stick to your fingers. That's it. It's so sticky. Like that, it is really sticky. Now, be careful when you put your light back in because it probably needs to dry. And there we have it. You have your lovely pots. You might want to put some ribbon. I actually made one. Yes, you might actually you want to put some ribbon around the outside. You might want to stick the sequins onto each of the panels. That would look very pretty. Whichever way you want, that's quite nice as well. At night time, they'll look really pretty. And it will guide the reindeer, Santa's reindeer, to your house. They'll look out for the, the little lights. Maybe you could put them near your fireplace or near your door where, where Father Christmas comes in. Right. Where's the lid? 
Oops, a daisy. That was just dropped on the floor, but did it smash? Yes. No, it didn't. Show, prove to everybody it didn't smash, please. It luckily didn't smash, and that was on the hard floor, Look, so we are okay. It smashed. Whatever you do, don't go trying to do that at home. Try and really look at it because you could give this as a present to somebody. I know it's tricky when you're when you're younger. It's very frustrating because sometimes you want to buy a present for somebody to say thank you, and then you can't go to the shops to get it or anything. But you know what? People love it when you make them a present. So perhaps you could use this as a surprise present for your grown up or for your brother or sister or a good friend and give it to them for Christmas. A good old friend is always your friend. Oh no, I think Emily's about to break out into song. What song are you going to sing today? Uh, what about Rudolph? Come on, listen, we'll sing along with us, sing along with Rudolph. Here we go. And as we do it, we're going to open up to see who we're going to say hello to today. One, two, three. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer. reindeer had a very shiny, shiny nose, nose like a light bulb. bulb. And if you ever <laughs> saw yeah. it, saw it, you would even say it glows like a light bulb. All of the other reindeer, reindeer, reindeer used to love and call him names like Dumbo. They were and let, let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer, reindeer games like football. Then one and foggy one Christmas, Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Ho, 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 Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide our sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him, loved him, jumping up and down with glee. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, reindeer, you'll go down in history like Napoleon. And you never guess what's on my card today. A reindeer without a red nose. Not sure whether it's Rudolph. Because I've got a red nose. So, you can afterwards. Okay. We're going to say hello to a few people. Would you like to say hello to these people? Ella, Matilda, Rosie. Ella, Matilda and Rosie. Billy, come and say hello to these people. <laughs> William, Isabella, Jasmine, Amelie and Dylan, <laughs> Zara and Esme. Do you know that one? Ethan. Ethan and, and Hannah. Happy Christmas. That's it for us for now, but we are going to be back to show you how to make a Christmas card, a few Christmas card ideas. But bye for now. Don't forget to yeah. like and subscribe. Bye from myself, Emily and Nelly. Bye.